want to show you what I'm doing. I've got these uh, Renology panels here that I got off Walmart.com. They were on sale for $87, free shipping. There's two of them. These are the new series that are a little bit smaller than their regular 100 watt. These are 100 watt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sunshades with them. So we're going to come off the porch. And here are the windows. So right here, right now there's no uh, sun hitting these windows, but this afternoon, these are uh, pointing southwest, I will get some sun for about two to three hours in the winter and probably longer in the summer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a lean-to, and then the panels are going to be you know, like almost on a 45 to 55. i got to do the measurement. But I'm going to have sun shields covering those windows. So when the... Um, when it's raining, I can leave those windows open. I was gonna make a nice tin structure, but I got thinking about it. I might as well use what I've got. So uh, with that, we're gonna start building them. And uh, I've got an extra charge controller laying around, so I'll have a charge controller coming from the roof. And then these panels will have their own charge controller. So I uh, thought I would uh, do as much as I can with what little space I've got and uh, Make it uh, work both ways. I'll have solar and I'll have a uh, sun shield for the summer and help cool this part of the uh, cabin. Keep the sun off of it. Everybody, I want to show you. I got a, a little pleasant surprise here. So I unboxed it. Usually you have to order the Renology mounting brackets separately. These are the brackets. And I've started mounting them just to show you how they're going to go. Right there, the magic pointer. But this came with it. I was very shocked. This is I've seen them anywhere from... $10 to $14 kit, sometimes $7. It just depends on who's selling them. But these brackets, I've seen a lot of guys say, well, you don't need the brackets. Hey, you actually do. If, uh, it makes it a lot easier. They're pretty, uh, pretty well laid out, too. There's about three different angles you can use with these brackets. So here's the bracket that we'll be mounting. Got another one here. And I'll be mounting this one. But this is it. I'm laying them out, and I have to lay them out right now, and that way I'll know how to cut the... Uh, the lean, I call them the lean twos. That's what I'll be mounting the uh, the panels. That's going to go over the window. So uh, on to the next step. Got another box to do, and that's it. On to the next one. So I'm going to make these just a little bit wider, the boards, than the solar panel. So I have some bite and enough to go away from the windows. I want to show everybody these brackets that I'm using. These brackets give me adjustable angle for the sun. So when that panel is sitting on top, I've got this angle that I can adjust because it's slotted. And I can move it up and down in that winter sun, summer sun. It works out really good. I've done this on three or four uh, mounts so far and it's worked really good.
This makes it easy. So I want to show you, this is what the mock-up is going to be. This will be the top. I'm going to use that slotted angle to get my angle for the sun to hit this panel. And uh, we're going to start cutting bores to get the frame going next. So uh, I want to show a mock-up of this. So I just got a dry fit of the panel. You see the boards are a little bit longer than the panel. <clears throat> that was done on purpose. This is a slim Rhinology solar panel. I wanted to plan if these panels went bad, I could go with either model they have. So show you the adjustable bracket. And this part right here, that will be on the side of the house. So you'll see a little bit better angle pointed at the sun. And this will make a, gun, a good sun shield for the window. Also a rain shield and it gives me flexibility to change a panel out if it goes bad. So I'm going to make the other one and uh, next thing we'll be doing is putting it on the wall or the exterior. Need to paint it up first though. And another thing, I've used a lot of treated lumber but we have carpenter bees that are so bad you need to paint all your boards. Hey everybody, I got everything uh, mocked up and uh, nailed up and screwed together. So the next thing we're gonna be showing is you, uh, I'm gonna paint it. Very important you paint the wood, although I went with a lot of treated wood. We have carpenter bees that are really bad here. So I'm uh, just gonna keep cleaning up and then uh, I'll show you the paint that I'm gonna use. I'm using Rust-Oleum and it's an enamel. As you can see, right down here is the wood. I've got everything framed up. I'm going with a Rust-Oleum uh, enamel black. I like the way the black contours with the, everything else that goes with the wood and the trim. If I don't like it, I can eventually bring it back for the, uh, the original exterior look. I'm going from kind of a, a rustic cabinet, but kind of an, an industrial look too. So the next step, I'm gonna paint, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's painted. I got it under here, under the lean-to, we've got rain coming. And the fumes are pretty bad, so I wanna be in an open area. I painted one side, and now I'm going to try to flip this thing over and not wear a bunch of paint. Yeah, right. Let's see how this goes. I should let it dry, but I'm impatient. Wasn't too bad. Like I said, I'm just trying to paint it on here, keep the carpenter bees away. We are eating alive with them. through this real quick that's the awning and here's the tin this is how to work place it over I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna hang it Well, that's it. The next thing I'll do is I'll put the tan up.
That's it. Now put the solar panel on. That's it. Everything lines up good. That's what I was looking at. I'll go ahead and bolt it down and then next step's running wires. So I'm going to take you top of the ladder now and show you the final product. I'm not going to bore you with all the wire run, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So uh, get on top of the ladder here. And you can see, I'm going to put my hand over it. You can see the shadow on it. I'm definitely going to have good sun on this. Here are the wires, I've got to run it. So what I'm gonna do, I don't like exposed wires. So I'm gonna drill a hole underneath this tin, run a wire down the wall, under the cabin, and back up to the charge controller. Wires should not be seen. So this is working really good. I love this idea because I'm getting a sun shield for the summertime for the cabin. I can keep the windows open during the rain. And I found another way to get power. So with that, take one more look. And I do appreciate you watching. This is going to wrap this video up. I hope you learned something. And just uh, anywhere you can squeeze more power and make products work for more than one use, you're better off. Get your dollars stretched out more. So thank you for watching. And please subscribe. And there will be more videos coming. scene to it i thought i would wrap it up a little bit with the last scene but this one kind of it gives you a perspective what it all looks like when it's done i have to admit it looks like an electrician did it because of the bars but an electrician did it for a reason i can adjust these to the to the angle of the sun right now it's at 40 degrees around 43 degrees actually perfect for hitting the south sun actually the southwest that's south for us but they're they're getting sun right now and that's going to give me the last little cush that i need to hit that charge controller to hit that battery that's going to be powering my freezer also it's going to cool it in the summer really good we just went in there and looked i'm still getting enough daylight in there to get a lot of natural light but i'm also getting enough cut to where it's not going to heat it up in the summertime and give me more cooling and this is going to work really good in the rain so i just want to give you a perspective of what it looks like it's done and uh, I'm actually very happy with it. And uh, maybe you want to use this for yours. But uh, if you like it, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up or leave me a hateful comment. Have a good day and God bless.